Hi, I'm Abner, and welcome to Screen Cloud Unbox. In this video, we're going to talk about high-end digital signage devices, so devices starting at $400 and above, and what they can do for your digital signage with Screen Cloud. Imagine you're running a large-scale digital signage network, and you need to invest in hardware that will service you for years to come. The options we'll mention today may be the best pick for you. Devices in this price range usually come with desktop class processors, which are much better than low and mid-range options. This ensures that you can cover a wide range of use cases and that your devices will be more future-proof. Let's look at the two key options in this price range. The first device we're going to look at is the Intel Nook, powered by Intel's Core i5 B Pro processor. It runs Windows 10 and has a wide array of ports and features that make it perfect for digital signage. It comes with a powerful, future-proof B Pro processor, which can easily handle multiple use cases, even using things like Intel Unite to wirelessly cast to your display. It comes with both fast Wi-Fi and fast Ethernet for wireless and wired internet connections. It connects via an HDMI port available on almost all consumer TVs and can power multiple displays in 4K. It supports a wide range of advanced business apps and systems, everything from remote device management apps to deployment systems. It can also run other apps alongside ScreenCloud's Player app. So what are the downsides then? Well, it's expensive, and you can get a similar model that still has an Intel Core i5 processor, but not a vPro processor for a bit less. So in summary, this Intel Nook is an example of a really powerful digital signage device that has all the features you need to really drive your digital signage the way you want to. Next up is the AOPEN Chromebox Commercial 2. This is another high-end digital signage device that uses Intel processors, but this uses Chrome OS as the operating system. The benefits of using this device for digital signage are as follows. It comes with both fast Wi-Fi and fast Ethernet for wireless and wired internet connections. It connects via an HDMI port almost on all consumer TVs and can output 4K content. Once you have your accounts and licenses set up, deployment is really easy. Single app kiosk mode, which is good for secure public setups, is set up by default. It also supports multiple zone layouts. So what are the downsides? Well, it's also expensive. And if you have simpler needs, you can get an AOPEN Chromebox Mini for much less. It also can't run apps side by side, which is bad for some use cases. So which one is best for you? Well, again, it really depends on your use case. If you need more power and more feature, the Intel Nook is probably the best choice. But if you want something that is a little bit simpler to deploy and has probably enough power for your needs, then go with the AOPEN Chromebox commercial too. For more help picking the perfect device for your digital signage, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon.